Astronomers believed for months that they knew what 3i Atlas was, just yet another icy guest from the vast, frozen void between the stars wandering quietly through our solar system. But just last week, that familiar illusion was destroyed. NASA's Network for High Altitude Observation picked up something that ought not to exist, a colossal cloud of over 4,000 objects, each the size of a meteor, moving together, following 3i Atlas like a meticulously planned shadow. At first glance, the data appeared to be an error, a ghost in the machine. The readings were so bizarre, so impossible, that even after they were confirmed by the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, their most senior researchers resisted believing it publicly. One scientist described the formation as a convoy from space, a trail of debris arranged in a way we've never seen before. These were not just haphazard rocks scattered by gravity. They were synchronized, as though linked by some invisible thread moving in a formation that defied every known cometary model or behavior. This discovery raised a question for which nobody at NASA was prepared to answer. Was 3i Atlas really just a meteor? Or was it something deliberate? As word spread through classified channels, the official language and reports began to change. They stopped calling it a cometary object. Instead, they began referring to it as an anomaly. And in the world of science, an anomaly is just a mystery that hasn't yet become a fear. But the story takes an even stranger turn. It appears that those 4,000 smaller bodies are composed of dense metallic compounds, traces of nickel, cobalt, iridium, and other elements typically found in a planet's core, not in a frozen comet's tail. These aren't just ice and dust fragments. They're heavy, solid objects, and if they were to head our way, they would be destructive on a planetary scale. Harvard astrophysicist Dr. Lyle Reiner put it chillingly, if even one of these hits Earth, we'll have to invent a new meaning for the word disaster. That's not an overstatement. Based on initial trajectory simulations, a few of these objects are on a path that could intersect Earth's orbit within the next six months. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory is already working around the clock to anticipate their movements. But there's a significant issue. Atlas isn't following the rules of physics. Its acceleration is all wrong. Astronomers have observed abrupt pauses, bursts of speed, and gravitational contradictions that make no sense at all. It's almost as if something is causing the object to react or that it's under control. Even the Harvard team began referring to these fluctuations as command pulses, a term almost never heard in astrophysics. Meanwhile, a new phenomenon emerged. Radio observatories from Chile to South Africa began detecting faint transmissions, rhythmic signals, coming from the same region of sky. At first, scientists dismissed them as irrelevant noise, but then they made a stunning connection. The pattern of the signals perfectly matched the rotation period of 3i Atlas. At that point, healthy skepticism gave way to a heavy, disturbed silence. No one from NASA has gone on record, but several insiders. Speaking off the record, have confirmed that high-level classified discussions are already taking place. The concern isn't just about a potential meteor shower anymore. It comes down to intent. There is something about the 3i Atlas formation that suggests coordination, maybe even intelligence. Those for thousand objects aren't just drifting. They're moving together in organized formation. And most alarmingly, their course is tightening, converging directly toward Earth's orbital corridor. It's easy to dismiss this as coincidence. After all, space is chaotic. But as Harvard's simulations become more detailed, the likelihood of this happening at random is dropping fast. The meteors aren't spreading out like ordinary debris. They're aligning. Each one adjusts its position slightly, as if responding to a central command. So the question is no longer what is happening, but why? What kind of force could coordinate thousands of objects across millions of kilometers of empty space? Currently, there is no answer. But with each hour, the readings grow clearer, and the distance shrinks. Deep inside NASA's control centers, quiet anxiety is turning into something far more deliberate, preparation. Inside NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office, the lights never went out that night. On the massive screens, a swarm of thousands of red dots moved across a digital representation of our solar system, each dot representing a fragment of the 3i Atlas swarm. Analysts watched in real time as the formation grew denser, its orbital lines bending subtly inward, like iron filings drawn to an invisible magnet. By dawn, 
the data were incontrovertible, 3i Atlas had picked up speed again as it neared the asteroid belt, but what shocked researchers most wasn't the speed. It was the synchronization. Every single one of the 4,000 meteors adjusted its position within the exact same six-second window. It was precision beyond conventional physics. For starters, time the data itself seemed to be alive. The scientists asked a question in a whisper, one they did not dare to ask in public. Was it so smart in coordination? A specialized team at Harvard linguists, pattern analysts, and AI experts met in secret to study those baffling pulses of electromagnetic energy. When the frequency was translated, changed into a code of numbers, they uncovered something that sent a chill down their spines, a pattern that perfectly reflected the initial numbers from 2 to 97. It was the mathematical order signature, the universal language of logic. Nature does not apply to primes, minds do. This immediately classified discovery began to circulate in underground science circles. One or two researchers abruptly quit, allegedly unwilling to participate in something they no longer comprehended. One of them left only a mysterious note on their desk that read, Greater than, we are being measured. We cannot observe from a distance. Space, it seemed, had a global impact. The sharing of encrypted data between agencies began. The European Space Agency confirmed that they had observed sporadic gravitational wave ripples emanating from the same area of space where the three atlases were moving. It was similar to a resonant field something directing the swarm. The implications were frightening. What if this wasn't just a moving object through space, but something manipulating it? NASA began its internal simulations, producing contradictory results. Every time they ran a projection, the swarm's response changed slightly as though the future path was being actively rewritten. It was a phenomenon eerily like quantum mechanics, where the act of observation itself alters behavior. Outside official channels, amateur astronomers began to observe something too. Fragment species not entering the upper atmosphere of Earth were moving in distinct patterns, achieving identical speeds and angles. It reminded them of a cosmic drumbeat, as if a much larger entity was on its way. However, the general public heard nothing. According to official statements, it was routine, seasonal debris harmless. But in the world of science, silence is its own form of alarm. A closed-door symposium at Harvard brought together some of the world's brightest minds in astrophysics. The unspoken consensus was clear, the Three Eyes Atlas could no longer be called a comet. Its swarm displayed unity behavior almost biological, like a school of fish following a hidden current in the vastness of space. And if that prevailing force was intelligent, then humanity had just become the subject of someone else's experiment. The question went beyond what the third atlas is. The real question was why now? Why, after eons of cosmic isolation, would a visitor from another galaxy appear surrounded by thousands of metallic bodies each capable of defying our comprehension of physics? As of this week, NASA's most recent models anticipate that the swarm will cross Earth's orbital plane within just 173 days. If there is no change, several hundred of those objects could pass within the moon's distance. And if even one of them deviates by only a fraction of a degree, the atmosphere could change in a split second. For now, the agencies remain silent. Information continues to flow in. And somewhere far away beyond our solar system, the third atlas and its glittering army of metal and stone are still coming. We cannot communicate with it. We cannot comprehend it. Only motion, no sound. Yet every error, every calculation, and every pulsation of light from the abyss seems to repeat the same frightening question between the stars. Are we witnessing the chaos inherent in the universe or its intentional design? Because if the three atlases are being escorted at all, then something out there has already located us. Thank you for reading. If you enjoyed this story as much as I did, be sure to click the like button and subscribe for more in-depth analyzes of the unidentified. We'll be tracking this story as it develops.